Hey everyone, Abby here. It's nice to be back. Recently, AI art and personal avatars have become extremely popular in social media. Now, these are all parts of AI technology. So, what exactly is AI technology? How is it being implemented? And what has Xiaomi done in the field of AI? Today, we're gonna dive deeper on these topics. Let's go. AI generally refers to artificial intelligence a branch of computer science. We help to develop machines that can operate similarly with human intelligence, making them feel, think, and even make decisions while serving human care. Now, what about Xiaomi's achievement in the field of AI? Could you tell us more about that? Yeah, in early 2016, Xiaomi AI Lab was officially established, whose research directions include computer vision, acoustics, speech, NLP, and knowledge graph and machine learning. Almost all AI technologies in Xiaomi have rich applications in knowledge and broad development base. By the way, we've previously been engaging with the Xiaomi CyberDog. I believe that's also part of the Xiaomi AI technology, right? CyberDog uses computer vision, voice AI, NLP, and other technologies. Could you tell us more about computer vision technology? Computer vision is about making a computer understand a picture or video like a human. Hmm. Not only does it tell whether it's a dog, it's a cat, but it also knows what the picture is telling it and gives some feedback. We made a lot of efforts to integrate computer vision into smartphones. Now, we have implemented dozens of core visual algorithms in the smartphone camera, providing strong technical support for the camera system, Xiaomi Imaging Engine launch to create an ultimate photography experience for users. Now, in addition to taking photos, what else could visual AI be used for? Well, I have some forms here. In order to better help improve your office efficiency, I developed OCR table recognition function. Use visual AI through table detection algorithm and table recognition algorithm. We can efficiently and accurately extract table form from pictures and convert them into an editable spreadsheet. Just open the form and scan the table. The OCR table recognition function can directly convert the table into an editable spreadsheet. Oh, that's nice and it's super cool and really super efficient. Eugene. Hi, Abby. Could you briefly introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Hello, everyone. I'm Eugene. Now, we've just discussed about visual AI a while ago. Now, let's move on to something that we commonly come across in our everyday lives, and that's voice assistant. Eugene, could you tell us more about that? Yeah, sure. We hope that the voice assistant can interact with us just like human being. From the academic point of view, extremely natural conversation implies three ultimate goals of AI speech interaction. Personalization, contextual understanding, and conversational emotions. We put lots of effort in the three areas. For example, coffee or tea. Uh, most of the time, it's supposed to ask you to choose one from the two specific beverages to drink rather than to tell which beverage it is. AI then use natural language generation, namely NLG, to fit back the users. Um, so enabling AI to understand the ambiguity of uh, human speech is one of the ultimate goals in natural language processing, namely NLP. Meanwhile, we brought emotions into our voice assistant. Um, following the guidance of a professional psychological research team, AI learned to understand the feelings, give empathetic answers afterwards. Um, previously, we even held talk show for our AI voice assistants in mainland China. Oh, that's really cool. Thanks. And it's also mm -hmm. nice to have someone to chat with. Many people like to express their emotions by singing, but there, uh, some of them are not good at it or are too shy to do so. That's why we developed this personalized singing synthesis. Our lab purchased vast amounts of voice data from thousands of people in different ages. Sophistic linguistic and acoustic modeling, it allows the user to build their own voice personalities by asking the TTS speech engine to listen to only 20 recorded utterances. I'm sure many people will enjoy this accessible technology. I'd like to tell you another story. There are nearly 30 million people in China who are speech impaired. 
the world can't hear them at all or hear them well. It's difficult for them to express themselves vocally. Briefly, we developed two fundamental phone accessibilities, namely Midido and AI calls, to help them. Let's check out this video. Ajuan used Midido to describe his destination by text to speech, but the default voice of Midido didn't match him, even his gender. Um, speech impaired user deserves a unique voice. Therefore, we came up with voice customization for the users. Customizing voices for people who've never spoken before, mm -hmm. that is actually very meaningful, but sounds very difficult. Yeah, sure. It's truly challenging, but it took us four weeks to train the acoustic model and the decoder, then modulate the output voice according to Arjun's preference twice. At the final stage, automatic speaker verification is carried out among the voices of the donor to ensure that the produced voice sounds different enough from that of any donor thus avoid the voice privacy problem. I heard that many people participated in this project and it took nearly half a year. Mm -hmm. So why did we venture in such a thing? From a generalized perspective, everybody has some disabilities for short or long term. Why don't we develop these technologies for our better daily life? This is the starting point of Xiaomi's engineers. At Xiaomi, our goal is to let everyone in the world enjoy a better life through innovative technology. And in line with this mission, we are proud to introduce the next generation of Kaldi, an open-source speech recognition tool that has gained recognition in both the industry and academia. Mm -hmm. Kaldi is maintained by Daniel Povey, chief scientist of Xiaomi Group. So, hello everyone, I'm Dan, and I'm happy to talk to you today about Kaldi. Now, Kaldi has been a major player in the speech AI space. What motivated you to develop this framework? Well. At that time, that was a few years ago, only a few very large companies had access to state-of-the-art speech recognition, and I wanted to make it so that smaller companies and universities and so on could do that. And the only real practical way to do that was uh, open source, because the development cycle is a lot faster and you can get other, t other people to contribute. Now, I know you've already been working on the next generation of Kaldi. Could you tell us more about that? A lot of it is just to keep up with the recent changes in machine learning. Things have been developing very fast lately and some aspects of our original framework couldn't quite keep up. I think the thing that distinguishes it from similar projects that other people are doing right now is that a lot of em emphasis on real-time inference. So you can use it for real products that have to take in speech in real time, uh, not just for research. So how will the new Kaldi benefit average users like me? Well, like the original Kaldi, 90% of the users are not going to realize that they're actually using it because it's hidden inside the product. I mean, the hope is that a lot of both big and small companies and uh, maybe universities are going to use this to improve their AI and, and speech. It'll help hopefully smaller products to uh, use speech that couldn't have before. That's exactly what we've been working towards. Thank you, Daniel, for sharing this with everyone. Now, I hope we could have more opportunity to discuss this with you in the future. Cool. All right. We've seen some amazing achievements in AI technology at Xiaomi. Now, I have one last final question. What areas do you see AI being applied to in Xiaomi products in the future? Our goal is to make life easier for our users. For example, we will enhance the real-time translation capabilities of our smartphones and smart glasses by introducing anti-interference training use human voice data in our traditional neural translation model. This helps to reduce noise interference and improve grammar in our translation. AI technology will become increasingly important in the smartphone experience, right? Definitely. AI has the potential to understand the user better, save the time, and help them perform tasks that would otherwise require specialized knowledge. I believe that the beauty of the world comes from the progress of technology. Dr. Wang, thank you for taking your time to introduce Xiaomi's efforts in the AI field to us. And for all of you who've been watching and tuning in, thank you all. Till next time, see you. Xiaomi.